Good morning, everybody. Chris Wood here. October 3rd, 2022. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. As I'm doing this, I have nothing but what feels like air going through my body. What feels like going through my head. I am completely numb on the right side of my head. I have no stimulation. I have no feeling whatsoever. My skull has been seriously deformed. My skull has been split. My skull has been seriously deformed. My face has been seriously deformed. I have proven it. It's been elongated. It's been shortened. It's been flattened. It's been rounded. No surgeries prior to or after <laughs> August 2019 on my skull or body. As a matter of fact, I had not been to a hospital or a doctor in almost 10 years, between 7 to 10 years prior to August of 2019, <laughs> July of, and August of 2019 when this started. I am the victim of identity theft, framing, injuring, torturing, sex assault, kidnapping, medical blacklisting, medical treatment refusals, medical discrimination through falsified files against me, <laughs> compliments of Dr. Tatiana V, Lennox and Ennington County General Hospital, through her girlfriend, Stacy, a mental health worker, who was involved with this, who I previously seen before all of this started to get help for another person who was causing problems here in Napanee and is a patient of mental health. I went there to get her help so she was not getting in trouble. As a result, I walked in. Stacy first words out of her mouth is, I know you. No, you do not know me. She started her bullshit. I didn't like her attitude. I got up and walked out on her. I also previously mentioned that mental health was a failed system and that it needed changing. I did not say that people with mental illnesses were failed. I said people that mental health was a failed system and it needed changing. <laughs> and then Spencer Mills shows up at my door the next day after pastor or priest now, David Smith, shows up to deliver me pretty much my last meal. I was sitting outside at my previous address, and about five minutes later, Spencer Mills shows up with a guy from mental health to basically let me know that if I did not stop talking about the crimes that were taken, that if I did not stop talking about what was taking place out of the Morning Star mission, the human homeless trafficking and the homeless monetary exploitation. <laughs> there would be serious consequences. After that, he was 100% right. After that, I was once again sitting outside of my previous address. And next thing you know, the ex-chief goes by. He waved at me. He was in a white Jeep. He waved at me. I waved back. When I waved back, a black truck pulled up beside him. They pointed something, they shot it, and it went into my right ear, and that's when I started having all the medical problems. And then William Billy Woldridge, the one known as William Billy Woldridge of 149 Center Street North, came onto the scene, and he was constantly stalking. Every time I would go out, he was right there. He was stalking, going, going by my house between sometimes 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, straight through till one, two o'clock in the morning, constantly, every hour, every couple hours. I would walk out my door, I would go downtown. He was no always right there, constantly walking by me. I finally managed to get his uh, picture. He went into hiding for a while, but I was still having the medical problems. I finally got a CAT scan done. I got an appointment for a CAT scan done November of 2019, and Stacy shows up state, and she was there for me. When I had no previous association with her, stating she was there for me for anxiety and all this other bullshit, I get my CAT scans done. 
Next thing you know, I am pretty much medically blacklisted. I wanted copies. I was told that I needed medication, and I was medically blacklisted after that. I would go to other hospitals. I would hear, I see in your file, I see in your file, or they were getting phone calls stating that I'm suicidal or on drugs, and none of it is true. I do not do drugs. I'm against them, and everybody knows me knows I'm against them. I've lost too many friends and family from the junk. I myself, at one point in time, overdosed, so I want nothing to do with any drugs in any way, shape, or form. So, I've learned my lesson. Yeah, I had a, I had my wake up call. Anyway, right now as I'm doing this, I am, and then after all of this started, and he was physically stalking. He was also going after my mother as well, physically stalking her. I warned that this was happening, and what was going to happen that they were going to use remote neuromonitoring on her, and what would happen to her. As a result, they did. They were using remote neuromonitoring on her. They caused tumors they, from the EMFs and radiation, causing cancer, causing her death. And it was done with intent through lies from OPP, Spencer Mills, and Stacy, stating that me and William Billy Waldridge were switched at birth. I am 50. He is 71, something like that. No possible chance. He also believes that he is my dad. No possible chance. I know who my dad is. I watched my father commit suicide. So you go fuck yourself, OPP, Stacy, and the rest of you bastards. There's been serious lies against me to get me medically blacklisted so I would not be taken serious about what was taking place with me by whom, how, and why. Kidnapped 24 hours after asking for help. May 27, 2021, 24 hours after asking for arresting and charging of cops and doctors through Shelly Hafner and her incompetency bullshit and that was done to get my blood and piss what they got and also in an attempt to shut me up and get me kept. <laughs> so, I've even been kicked out of the hospital causing me serious medical harm by pellet and security to aid in covering up crimes Police that are involved in threats and dangers to society, human traffickers, human sex trade, slavery traffickers, financial thefts and frauds, false arrest, stalking, kidnapping, sex assaults, obviously identity thefts, deforming, using inmates, using psychiatric patients, using drug-fed co-offenders who are passing remote neuromonitoring around, using this on me to mentally fuck me up, to destroy me, to injure me, so OPP can play Pontius Pilate. Billy Waldridge is seriously obsessed with me. Spencer Mills is serious, seriously obsessed with me. 14716, staff sergeants, ex-chief, Shannon Cork, she even when she showed up at my face and laughed in my face over me telling her to arrest her boss at the time, she was even telling me what kind of glasses I should buy, I should get. So, and then she laughs in my face as her, her boss, Billy Woldridge and Blair Hardy go on to stalk my mother and murder her, knowing damn well what was going to take place. So, after three years of going through this, of deforming and not getting any help and being mentally injured, this is pretty much done. So, you did your job, Billy Woldridge. You did your job, Blair Hardy, who is allegedly in jail, but he is still using RM on me. And what RM does is it destroys a person's central nervous system. And it also enables for them to broadcast through, through a person like a hologram they see me doing this they know i'm doing this and how it's operated is through wi-fi cell phone and computer i have proven this technology exists it is police and military tech that's been in use since the 60s and not a lot of people are aware of it it is a microchip implant so a person's destroyed nervous system can open them up to a lot of problems. I've had serious brain problems. I've had, and I'm completely and totally numbed down. I'm going on pretty much autopilot doing this because I cannot get any help. So knowing I cannot get any help, 
knowing I could not go to a hospital. You got away with this, Billy Woldridge. You got away with this, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, Javen Alstein, all you drug-fed co-offenders who are untouchable, no matter what. OPP will surround hands on guns to protect them, which protects OPP and the doctors as well involved and everyone else. They also have a justice of the peace to make accusations against victims, stating that they're high on marijuana, hallucinating, being sex assaulted. So, I have been trying to get medical help. My medical rights, legal rights, human rights have been taken away from me. I am the end of my bloodline, so congratulations. You are guilty of having my mother murdered, OPP. You are guilty of pretty much murdering me, and you are guilty of murdering a bloodline, mentally fucking me up, destroying my brain in hopes that I go crazy, in hopes that I forget about this, in hopes that you get away with this, so you get away with the, uh, with with homicide, so you get away with child sex slavery, stock pedophilia, children to adults or children to pedophiles. Adults to sex offenders, using remote neuro monitoring on your victims, using Clearview AI on your victims, false arrest to give them a re to give them records so you can get everything you need for your forgeries, framings, and frauds for identity thefts that I am going through and proven for three years, conveniently untouchable. So anything happens to me more, it is OPP the ones named Doctor. Tatiana V, she signed my death certificate for her girlfriend Stacy and Billy Woldridge and Blair Hardy. I was sold for murder. Dr. Tatiana V, Dr. Joy Hadley, Dr. McGregor, Dr. Waldron, Dr. Pritchard, Dr. Barton, Triage Nurse Terry, Triage Nurse Tanya, Triage Nurse David, and Paladin Security, along with the rest name. Chris Wood, love all, hate none. I'm going to wrap this up. Hit that like, share, subscribe. This is how the police human traffic frame and murder here and doing it very successfully with a lot of help. Be safe. Watch yourselves, your children, and your parents, and your finances.